The Wufang Shang Yangtze River Bridge is a two deck suspension bridge with the main length of 1,092 meters. The bridge is constructed using the board piling technique, also known as the drill shaft. The board pile is cast in place concrete that can support heavy vertical loads and is essential for a bridge designed to support two railways. This process requires using a specialized machine known as the board piling contractor in order to ensure proper drilling and stability of the soil on the construction site. This process is particularly well suited for building bridges along riverbanks as the drilling can be very close together, each shaft needing only 75 millimeters of space, which allows for proper soil retention and to prevent groundwater leaks on this difficult construction site. Next, steel rebars are used to reinforce each drill shaft and concrete is poured on site. This differs from typical methods which may use precast concrete squares for support. However, precast squares are not as suited for a bridge as they do not support as much weight as the poured on site concrete. This bridge is designed to hold multiple high speed railway lines to cross the river so high support tonnage is critical to the project. Now, the cofferdam is brought into the site via barge in order to establish a dry area for construction of the bridge foundation. Before installation, the cofferdam is measured in accordance to the river water as well as the soil table for the site in order to ensure the steel walls can prevent soil erosion and hydraulic instability. With the walls in place, the pumps are now installed into the copper dam in order to pump out water and end the dewatering process, allowing a dry concrete pour and a stable, safe foundation for the bridge. The bridge foundation is also reinforced with lots of steel rebar to ensure further strength, and then this process is repeated on the other side of the river as well as for the other leg of the bridge to allow four strong stable concrete pillars as a basis to erect the bridge on. This method does require more precise planning than traditional construction methods as the contractor must closely study the soil type of the river in order to choose the best drilling method to minimize disturbance for the surrounding soil. In this case, the piles are driven into the rock basis underneath the dirt in order to once again allow and ensure the bridge will be able to fully support the highway as well as both high-speed rail lines. This suspension bridge is constructed to a fairly tall height of 203 meters in order to allow the double deck design and allow for both normal car traffic as well as the high-speed rail traffic. Now that the first foundation of the bridge has been successfully installed, the next step is to install a diaphragm wall into the construction site in order to prevent any underground trenches from collapsing and ensure more stability for the soil in the project. Before main excavation of the diaphragm wall, a series of guide trenches are done in the site in order to add support for the excavation equipment for the main wall. These trenches are reinforced with steel cages for stability and reinforced by bentonite mud to ensure strength. The diaphragm wall offers several key advantages, which is why it was chosen for the site. It is both quicker to construct and lower costs than other foundation techniques and allows for greater stability and a deeper foundation critical to this bridge project to allow such high tonnage on the site. Anchoring girders as well as eye bars are now built on top of this foundation in order to allow a more stable, strong bridge and these are installed all throughout the site to allow for the cables. For the final part of the foundation building, an immersed well must be used due to such high load. This massive structure is the strongest load bearing support out of the entire project and precision is key. All of the measurements must be accurate to a 10 centimeter 
margin of error for this underground 18-story structure which will end up being larger than an entire football field. The well is made from 48 compartments filled with water and mud and sunk into the surrounding soil. With the construction of the foundation finally completed, cranes, winches, and pulleys are brought onto the construction site in order to add the cable to the suspension bridge. This cable is made from steel wire and must be very thick to ensure proper support of the bridge. These cables have been rated to hold up to 90,000 tons of force and should be more than sufficient for the accompanying highway and rail lines. Simultaneously, while the cables are being installed, barges begin to bring in precast concrete to the site and it begins to be installed on the foundation of the bridge along where the cable has already been laid. The bridge wire is made up of 127 individual cables measuring 5.5 millimeters each forming a strand that totals 1.3 meters in length which is how the cables ensure such strong support of the vehicles. The cable is stretched the full 1,092 meters end to end of the bridge and reinforced on the anchorings installed back on the diaphragm wall for stability. Finally, to complete construction on the bridge, 53 separate steel beams are installed for more support and one last set of cranes is brought in to assemble the center of the bridge outwards back towards the supports on the riverbanks. This bridge was first dreamed of back in the 1960s, but the technology at the time was not enough to allow construction. Construction on the bridge was successfully completed in December 26 of 2019, and this impressive bridge created multiple firsts, becoming China's first suspension bridge enabling both railway and highway traffic simultaneously, as well as the world's first suspension bridge to allow a high-speed railway.